Hi, I'm Mrs. Gaither, and the book I have to share with you today is called The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. It is the first book in a trilogy of awesomeness. It is so good that when you get to the last page, you're going to want to immediately get your hands on the second book, which is called Catching Fire. And the third book in the trilogy is called Mockingjay. All three of these books are currently on the market, so everyone has access. And if you are one of the students at our school, we have multiple copies in the library. The problem is getting your hands on one of those copies because they are almost always checked out. This story is about a post-war society. On one hand, they have a lot of futuristic, fabulous technology, but then on the other hand, there's not enough food to go around and people are dying of starvation. The main character of this book is 16-year-old Katniss Everdeen, and she has an incredible skill of knowing how to hunt. When she was little, her father taught her how to hunt with a set of bow and arrows, and each day she goes out into the woods and illegally hunts because it's not allowed, and she's able to bring back game and food that helps her family, her friends, and the other people in her community. She's an incredible asset to the district she lives in, which is District 12. The Hunger Games is actually this once a year event that's hosted by the Capitol and they insist that each district, there's 13, but 13 has been destroyed for some mysterious reason. So there's 12 districts that send two tributes apiece. It's one girl and one boy from the ages 12 to 18. And the people in the districts really don't like sending their kids to the Hunger Games because it almost means that they are going to die. But they do want that possibility of what the prize is. The winner of the Hunger Games wins for their district a year's supply of food. And everybody wants more food when they're starving. Well, at the reaping, this is the day where they pull the names out of the kids that have to participate. The girl's name that's called is Prim Everdeen, and that's Katniss's little sister, and she's just 12 years old, and Katniss can't let this happen. She pushes her way through the crowd, and she gets to the stage, and she grabs Prim and pulls her protectively behind her, and then she herself steps up on that stage to the podium and says, I volunteer as District 12 tribute, and thus begins the training and preparation for her participation in the Hunger Games. The Hunger Games themselves is a fight to death hand-to-hand -hand combat. It can be bloody, it can be brutal, and it's sometimes hard to watch and hard to read because everything in this event is televised to all of the people who live all across the country. There are other characters you're going to fall in love with. I fell in love with Peter Mellark. He's the boy that's drawn from District 12. And while this is someone that is kind of special to Katniss, um, she doesn't really know him that well. But he is this gentle boy whose family owns a bakery. And he is much more comfortable being at home in the bakery and making bread and decorating cakes than he is to be on the battlefield. He and Katniss develop a relationship, and you have to ask yourself, where is this romance going to go? They are in a fight to the death match. So, you know, you're just hanging on the edge of your seat as you turn each page to see where it's going to lead you. This is an awesome read. It's highly entertaining, and I would recommend this book for actually any age group. I not only have the students here at our school reading the books, but my friends as well. They can't get enough of it. So come on into the WMS Library. Try out this book. It's called The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Highly entertaining, and it will not disappoint.